let me take you to the hood and see how individual liberty is crushed because the conditions of opportunity are not available to them and they end up dealing with an underground economy with drugs and guns that they do not themselves create or originate. Can you conceive of individual liberty with these kinds of conditions? If not, you have to attend to the conditions or you're not true to your commitment to individual liberty. That's internal critique. That's imminent critique, you see. And that's how one proceeds. Same would be true. Sean Hannity, you say you're a Christian. Yes, I am. Let's talk. <laughs> Which Bible are you reading? I mean, you know. <laughs> Poor Jesus in the temple, money changers, run out, den of thieves, house of prayer. There's internal critique. We had the same thing with Morning Joe. Mm -hmm. Morning Joe's a deep Baptist brother, and uh, Sean Hannity's a deep Catholic brother. There's ways in. Your Pope himself says dignity of labor, unions are fundamental and so forth. Why are you so obsessed with this issue? Don't have a mumbling word to say about this one. Mm. I mean, that's that, the beginning of it. That's a good segment, a good segue to this next question. Often race is used as a proxy for class divisions. We show in the book, you show in the book, that this economy crosses race, ethnicity lines. Do you see significant growth in self-identified solidarity among poor and working class people? Well, that's what we're after. That's what we're after, but the... Um, I mean, the problem is, is that, see, the vicious legacy of white supremacy in America has been such that it is the most explosive issue. And you can't talk about that legacy without talking about poverty. You can't talk about that legacy without talking about wealth inequality, you see. So that because it's so explosive that it tends to overshadow class inequality, economic inequality. And the challenge always is to be able to hold both ideas in your mind at the same time and still retain the ability to function. It's never either or. Mm -hmm. It's both and. Same would be true in terms of, 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 of patriarchy. Same would be true in terms of any form of these vicious ideologies, anti-Semitism, anti-Arab, anti-Muslim bigotry and so forth, homophobia and so on, you see. So that we're never gonna be able to get at poverty if you want to be colorblind or act as if the vicious legacy of white supremacy somehow is pushed to the margin. No. See, Trayvon Martin, it's been happening every day for a long time. It surfaces all of a sudden, oh my God, there's still injustice in the criminal justice system. I can't take that. <laughs> Police. <laughs> More at night, but not last night. You know, the, the challenge is to connect the two and then bring persons together and say, yes, we will talk about both simultaneously, honestly, mm -hmm. and yet still keep track of our deeper humanity, which is what, in the end, it's all about. 